Hello, Robert. Hello, Bill. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for your patience with me. Um, yeah, I've got on a cup of coffee now, so I managed to dash home in time and everything's been charged up. The laptop's nearly flat and the phone's completely flat, so I'm oh, charging them both up, <laughs> one off the other at the moment. <laughs> So that's all that that's all working. Um, what puzzles me is I've been told at the carts. Um, I don't actually live in Birmingham, but I I couldn't get through to the local Kingdom Hall here. Right. Uh, in in Launceston. Um, so I'm quite some way away. So I went to the charity commission. I found a Kingdom Hall, um, and and I gave you a ring. Um, it's, it's to do with the, the cleansing work, that watchtower, 15th of July, 2013, I was told to read that by people at the carts. Um, I'm just trying to find it on the laptop because I don't have the internet on this laptop, but I, I do scans and I've scanned the entire article. It yeah. talks about Jesus doing an inspection and a cleansing work from 1914 to 1918, to 1919, sorry. And I was just wondering, what exactly was cleansed? Well, interestingly, um, obviously Babylon the Great, we believe, is the world empire of false religion, because many of the major doctrines of the churches of Christendom have come from Babylon, and hence Babylon the Great mentioned in uh, Revelation 17 and 18. Right. But we believe it's all apostate, religious, Christian, religious thought. Not only Christendom, of course, but, but, but the rest of false religion. Now, God's people, um, in about 1870s, started to look into the Bible, but not only God's people, but all sorts of religious groups could have had that same designation. That Christ was looking for those that were truly wanting to... Uh, study God's word, yes. root out all the pagan uh, doctrines. And uh, under Pastor Russell and others, uh, including some Adventists, etc., began to look at the, the Bible in more detail and realise things like the, the purpose of Christ's ransom, a hellfire, the Trinity, and other major doctrines of Christendom were really not biblical at all. Uh, they were really from uh, from Babylon, Greece, Rome, etc. And so they began to cleanse um, uh, false uh, uh, their, their ranks of false religious teaching, as they believed them to be, of course. Um, and but, but they all thought that they would go to heaven in 1914, because they'd worked out from the scriptures. Even Isaac Newton, interestingly, had worked that out. That the, the, the Gentile times would end in 1914, according to Daniel's prophecy. So they were expecting to go to heaven in 1914, but but clearly they'd got that wrong. Um, and in fact, 1914 we believe was the birth of God's kingdom in heaven, but they've got a work to do. But but they were selfishly maybe looking at their own salvation. They were fine brothers and sisters but they were looking for their own salvation and not the vindication of God, uh, etc. So this cleansing work happened in the sense that when the First World War broke out and they didn't go to heaven in October like they expected, and then many of them began to, um, some of them rather, began to lose faith. Uh, when the war began and conscription and they were called up, and many wouldn't fight because of their stand on neutrality. But they, some gave way to fear of man. Then Brother Russell died, and, and there was like a dark period. Um, so in a sense, they were being cleansed in the sense that those that weren't prepared to, to, to serve God and be obedient had drifted away. But by the end of the war, by, particularly by 1919, when many of our brothers who were imprisoned were released, um, then, and, and they began to remove other doctrines that were still, uh, uh, um, in God's eyes, they were repulsive, such as Christmas, 
Sorry, when was, was that? Sorry, when was that? It was a pagan celebration. Sorry, it had when was that? to do with Christ. It came from the Saturnalia in Rome. And they began to cleanse themselves of all these false doctrines. Sorry, so uh, by Bill, 1919... Uh, sorry, um, Bill, when was, uh, when was that? Sorry, I didn't catch that. I, I, I was asking, when was that? When was this cleansing work done? Well, much of it was done in the sense toward the end of 1919. Um, by, but of course, some of these doctrines like Christmas, they removed them, and I think it was about 19, the 1920s. I'm not sure without looking at mine. Uh, 1927, they, they last celebrated Christmas in 1926. Yeah, no, that was about right, yeah. But there was a yeah. watchtower in early December 1927 that spoke out against Christmas. C could we be more pacific? Um, can I just read that Watchtower article to you? Do you, do you mind if I just yeah. read? No, um, no. It's the 15th of July, 2013. Um, I think it's page 11. I don't know, I'm not too sure of the page numbers because I scanned the pages into my laptop. Yeah. And they're just numbered one, two, three, four, five, or paragraphs. This is paragraph six. Paragraph six. Paragraph six. On your on your laptop. Yes. Just read, yeah, read the, the, the beginning of it, then I'll see if it's the same one. So a crucial question needed to be answered. Who among those groups were the wheat? To settle that question, Jesus began to inspect the spiritual temple in 1914. That inspection and cleansing work involved a period of time from 1914 to the early part of 1919. It seems to indicate to me, unless I'm mistaken, sir, that the yeah. inspection and cleansing work involved a period of time from 1914 until the early part of 1919 when the cleansing work, the article seems to indicate it was finished. Yes. Um, uh, how we understand that is that, as I mentioned before, it's more to do with the spiritual paradise. The, the, the witnesses... Uh, the Balder students, as we were then known, uh, were, 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 their only understanding of paradise was a paradise to come on earth and a paradise in heaven, a, a, a twofold paradise, one a literal paradise here on the earth and one, of course, a paradise in heaven. But the, the, because they were cons particularly interested in their own salvation rather than the sanctification of God's name, Jehovah, the Lord's Prayer, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. But these were the most important things, God's kingdom and God's name. So God's people hadn't really been preachers. There were pilgrims and coal porters who were preaching, but the vast majority of God's people then, although they'd done a tremendous work, I mean, they placed 200 million leaflets. They placed, I think it was over 4 million books. Uh, they'd done a tremendous work, but, but they were focusing on their own salvation. So this needed to be, their thinking really needed to be cleansed. That was the most important Sorry, thing. Sorry, could you, could you just simplify it into sort of one sentence? What, let me read the article again. So a crucial question needed to be answered. Who among these groups were the wheat? To settle that question, Jesus began to inspect the spiritual temple in 1914. That inspection and cleansing work involved a period of time from 1914 to the early part of 1919. Am I correct in assuming that this inspection and cleansing work involved a five year period from the end of 1914 that's a little less than five years, to the early part of 1919. That, that's the first you are correct. Let's deal yes. with just one yeah. thing at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, it talks about the wheat. Uh, so I think it's a, a reference to the parable of the wheat and the tares. So a, quest, a, so a crucial question needed to be answered. Who among those groups were the wheat? Implying, I think, the parable of the wheat and the tares. How do we distinguish yeah. between the wheat and the tares? The wheat being God's people... And yep. the tares being God's enemy, yes? Yeah, yes, basically. Yeah. But it, it's really within the Christian uh, community because uh, originally he's talking about the Christian congregation that was formed in the first century. And if you read the parable, you'll notice that the devil would, uh, would sow, would sow uh, 
uh, weeds into the field of wheat, which was those faithful early Christians. And a long period, it indicates, would, uh, would carry on. Should they remove the weeds? No, because uh, the, the bearded darnel, which is the type of weed referring to, looks exactly like wheat until it's fully ripened. So the, the parable says that the two would remain together until the conclusion of the system of things, which was 1914. And so that is the period when Jesus would come to his temple and begin to sort out false Christians from true, faithful Christians. I, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I don't attend any religious group. I used to be an evangelical yeah. Christian, but I gave yeah. up nine years ago. So I don't subscribe to your beliefs, but I'm trying to understand them. And I'm trying yeah. to get an accurate understanding of what you believe. So the inspection, is that an inspect? it says that inspection and cleansing work involved a period of time from 1914 to the early part of 1919. Is yes. that an inspection done by Jesus Christ? Yes. Yes. Right, so what is the cleansing work that you agreed was, uh, it was just under a five year period from, the, from late 1914 to the early part, I think that's March. I've read another watchtower that mentions it's March 1919. Yes. When the eight officers of the Watchtower Society were released from prison. What is that cleansing work? You said something about having a heavenly hope and an earthly hope, but that didn't come about until the 1930s. I think no, it was 1931. They, had, they, they all had a, a heavenly hope. At no, that, that time, there was no, no one had a, an earthly hope. My point was that they didn't fully understand prior to 1915. 19 or during the toward the end of 1919 hmm. uh, i mean the, the, the beginning of 1919 that there was a spiritual paradise here on the earth that they were in and all those that were prepared to do the work that jesus had commanded would be classed as uh, the the wheat those that refused to do the work those that wouldn't uh, spread the good news of god's kingdom matthew 24 14 says this good news of the kingdom will be put or gospel would be preached in all the inhabited earth for a witness to all the nations then the end would come that work was primary it was the to do with the vindication of jehovah's sovereignty so that had to take place those that were refusing to do it would be clearly the uh, the, the weeds along with the rest of christendom that were involved most of them anyway in the war so they'd shown their true credentials, wasn't for God's kingdom. Could, could we just deal with one thing at a time? So specifically, what is the cleansing work that the, the article mentions? The cleansing work that Jesus did was to sort out true Christians from false Christians. And that just isn't an intellectual decision. It's based on their fruits. Jesus said, by their fruits will you recognise them. Uh, many will say, oh, I'm Lord this and, and I did wonderful things and I expelled demons and he'd say, get away from me, you workers of lawlessness. You didn't do the will of God and the will of God was that the good news had to be preached and that was the point, that was the judgment based on whether they would preach the good news or not. Right, also, right. what is the good news? Just briefly the, summarise. The, the good news is... The established kingdom of God. That's when? Good news, when? Which was in, when? In 1914, it was established. Right. right. They weren't they teaching. Right, Bill. Yeah. They they were not teaching that in 1919. They didn't start teaching that till 1930. So they weren't right, teaching the good news. The good news of the kingdom was, was, of course, it was known then and preached then, but not everybody preached it. No. 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 Um, I've got the book Prophecy, which was written by Judge Rutherford. It was published in 1929. Now, on page 65 of the book Prophecy, it says that the second presence of Christ dates from 1874. 1874 was the second presence of Christ. Another that book... Was, that could, I, was could, I just, could I just finish? That was, yeah. But that's the literature that they were publishing in, in the 1920s. That book was published in 1929. Another book called Studies in the Scripture, Volume 4, 
um, I forget, I think it's page 604 or 605, or somewhere around there. I can, I can check it up if you want me to. Um, it says that Christ was crowned as king in 1878. False. And the time of the end was 1799, because the Adventist false. groups... Um, yeah, false. That's all false. It's all wrong. But that's um, what they... But, but, Bill, that's what they were teaching in 1919 course, is the truth. Of course. Now, the, the beautiful thing about the truth, and I'll just finish on this point, the beautiful thing about the truth, Daniel, another great Bible writer, said that the truth would get brighter and brighter as the day dawned. And this is the beautiful thing about God's people today, Jehovah's Witnesses. Where? It, where, where? Could you just, could we just deal with one thing at a time? Which verse says the truth? You keep saying that, but what I'm trying to do okay. is to, just to I'm give sorry. you an overview. I'm sorry. Uh, of, yeah, the overview is this, that as soon as we realised that an idea was false, like the divine plan of the ages, for example, these things were rooted out along with false doctrines. And gradually the truth gets brighter and brighter till the day dawns. Well, Daniel I don't think the Bible 12. says that anywhere. Proverbs it four eight. Daniel 12. Pro Daniel 12, it says it in the Proverbs. No, you need to deal with one thing at a time, Bill. Proverbs 4, well, 18... I'll tell you what, what it'd be best to do. But, Bill, could I just if make you... a point? Because I have listened to you an awful lot. Would you mind yeah. if I just made a point? If you read Proverbs four eighteen and 19, it says the path of the righteous gets brighter and brighter. It does not yes, say the truth gets... Scripture. Could I finish my point? It does not say truth gets brighter and brighter, and it doesn't say light gets brighter and brighter. It's the path of the righteous that gets brighter and brighter. It's a metaphor. And in the next <coughs> verse, Proverbs 4.19, it talks about the wicked, and it says they stumble in darkness. So it, it, it's, it's a metaphor for those who are following God. Those who are following God, the path towards God... It, the path is illuminated brighter and brighter as you are obedient to God. But those people can I ask who... You a question can, can, I, can I just finish, Bill? Can I just make yeah. my point? But in the Proverbs 4.19, those people who stumble in darkness, okay, they stumble in darkness because they're not following God. Th thank you. Thank yes. you for your patience, sir. What was your question? Yes. What is your motive, uh, can I ask? You say you're no longer... A, you, you're, I presume you still are a Christian, although you're no longer an evangelical. So what is your motive in such research? Oh, I find it absolutely fascinating. I did a church history degree. Uh, well, yeah. my degree focused mostly on church history, and I find it truly fascinating, and I'd, I'd like to know more. Um, yeah, brilliant. Well, what I would suggest, rather than... Because we're just a small kingdom hall in Birmingham. I mean, I'm just a cleaner, so I, my knowledge maybe is not as good as yours. But our branch, we have excellent students of the Bible that would amaze you. Now, the best thing you can do is to ring our headquarters at Mill Hill in London. I have. Have that you have? Yeah, they, 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 they told me to go to jw.org and then they hung up. I phoned them three times. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah well... There's everything you need there on jw.org. Right, right. I'm at jw.org. I've scanned the article, 15th of July, 2013, page 11 to 14. Paragraph 6 says, To settle that question, Jesus began to inspect the spiritual temple in 1914. That inspection and cleansing work involved a period of time from 1914 to the early part of 1919. You've agreed the cleansing work, the inspection and cleansing work, was between late 1914 and to March 1919. Could you tell me what the cleansing work? Because you see, as far as I can see, Bill, they were teaching exactly the same doctrines in 1918, after this period, sorry, in, in 1920. It's nothing to do with could, could I just, really. Could I, mean, I just that, make that my, is a, Bill, could I just make my, part of it. could I just the make my... The main point what, is, it's the, it's the works Jesus said could to I, identify the true religion. By their fruits, will you know them. But the, but but the Bible... Bill, only Jehovah's Witnesses at that time, who were faithfully doing what God said, would be considered part of the, uh, the, the wheat. But, but Bill, but I think, Bill, I think Bill can I just make my point? Because I have listened to you a lot, and you haven't let, let me say very much. They were teaching exactly I, yeah, the same fact, thing. I don't, I don't really want to continue this conversation Bill, any longer, Robert. Why? I'm very sorry, but why? you've they... got jw.org. I think we'll leave it there. You know what Jesus said about argument? It, it, it's not... I'm not arguing. I'm trying to understand your religion. 
Can I leave you with one final thought? No, because I you're just talking to, to me non-stop. You're like a parrot. You're like Polly the parrot on his perch. Listen to me. Listen to me. Don't talk. He hung, he's hung up. <laughs>